Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique combat shotgun known as Justice. So to acquire this weapon we will need to come to the very friendly town of Covenant. Covenant can be found a far ways north of Diamond City or to the southeast of Sanctuary. Once in Covenant we need to head to the very kit shop and in here behind the counter we will find the ever so lovely Penny Fitzgerald. Once talking to Penny we need to head to Barter and then once here head across to Weapons and down to Jay. Here of course we will find Justice. The unique combat shotgun we came here for. And of course the price of justice will vary depending on your character's current charisma level. As always before modding it out and looking at its base stats I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bubblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of justice. Now in the first modification slot you could go with the advanced receiver but just for a bit of variety I'm going to be going with a powerful automatic receiver. That's right, an automatic shotgun. Now the powerful automatic receiver of course makes the gun automatic. It increases the damage by 50%, increases the fire rate by 16.6%, reduces range by 1 times, and increases the VATS cost by 25%. In the second slot we're going to be going with the long ported and shielded barrel. This increases minimum range 5 times, increases maximum range 9 times, reduces spread by 50%, reduces recoil by 25%, increases VATS cost by 10% and increases sight time by 3%. For the stock, we're going to be going with the recoil compensating stock, of course to compensate for all that recoil. This reduces sight sway by 7%, reduces recoil by 30%, increases VATS cost by 20%, increases sight time by 10% and increases bash damage 100%. Now whether it's automatic or not, of course we want the biggest magazine size possible, that's why we're going with the quick eject drum mag. This increases the magazine size to 32, reduces reload time by 20% and increases sight time by 3%. Now for whatever reason you can put a massive scope on these combat shotguns which I would advise against, because no matter how you mod it out you're not going to have a very long range, so at no point will you need a long scope. Anyway, we're going to be going with the reflex sights, and personally I'm going with the circle. This adds 1.5 times zoom, reduces sight spread by 15%, reduces VATS cost by 15%, and reduces sight time by 10%. And finally for the muzzle, I'm actually going to go with the suppressor. This of course makes the weapon suppressed, it reduces the minimum range by 1.25 times, and reduces maximum range by 2.5 times. It also reduces the recoil by 25%. I'll talk on this choice a little bit more later on in the video. So once it has been modded out the way I just did, it has a base below ballistic damage of 75, it uses the shotgun shell as ammunition, it has a fire rate of 23, its range is 29, its accuracy is 56, its weight is 22.7 pounds and its value is 1210 caps. As we can see up the top of the screen there, justice, plus 30% staggered chance. This of course comes from the staggering legendary prefix, and the results you'll get from it are absolutely <laughs> staggering. Now overall in Fallout 4, combat shotguns are incredibly powerful weapons, the biggest downside being the lack of range. And that downside does play a little bit into why you might not want to use justice for all things. As we know the gun is now suppressed which massively reduces recoil and that helps in ways that cannot be matched when it comes to the automatic receiver which we also put on justice. It also suppresses the weapon which means you can stay sneaking for longer when attacking enemies because they're not too sure where the bullets are coming from. But again, here comes the range, a range of 29. You have to be pretty damn close to your enemies to be able to shoot them, even inside of that. And usually by the time you get this close to your enemy, they've already found you anyway. So although technically a suppressor does help you stay sneaking, by the time you get in range you're probably not going to be sneaking anymore. And in terms of a suppressed gun, there are much better options such as, you know, like a suppressed sniper rifle type weapon. But where the suppressor does help is that it reduces the recoil 
recoil massively. And a fair bit of recoil comes with the gun when you put the automatic receiver on it. And the reason that I did do this, although we could get a little bit more damage out of it if we put, see, a different type of receiver on it, the automatic receiver is super cool for crowd control when you take into account the fact that justice has this staggering effect. And although you might want to choose a different type of weapon for big outside long range shots, if you're inside a building or in the city of Boston, walking around corners and walking up and down staircases and things like that with enemies at every turn, this specific mod set on justice is pretty damn helpful. If you know there's a couple of bad guys around the corner, you can just hold down the trigger and walk around the corner while pointing justice at them. You'll just continually shoot walls of shotgun pellets while you aim down sights with a 30% chance of staggering the enemies. And then of course each shot had a base damage of 75, which after getting all the appropriate perks, I was able to get up to 215. And again, it's automatic. All you need to do is hold down the trigger and aim. And this lasts a while because of course we have that magazine size of 32. So you're hitting your enemies for 215 damage every like one to one and a half seconds. You've got that fat magazine size, it's automatic, and you've got the 30% chance to stagger. So in terms of crowd control, this gun is really, really good. Of course, the downside being you have to be close enough to them to actually use it. And while this technique can still very practically be used on big, scary enemies such as Death Claws and Super Mutant Behemoths, it does get scary when you have to get that close to them. But again, if a Death Claw's running at you, aim down sights and hold down the trigger, and they're gonna have a tough time getting to you while they're staggering around. Just like when you're partner's drunk and it takes them 20 minutes to stagger out of the venue. So all in all, Justice modded out this way is pretty good and to be honest, you could mod it out pretty much any way and it'll be damn good. The staggering effect really, really helps with crowd control and gives you a fair bit of time to kind of calculate what's going on while the enemy is kind of spinning in circles. And again, with all the perks per shot, it had 215 damage. You get a sneak attack in, that's gonna be like 600 damage. Then of course crits and stuff and then it's automatic and you've got that huge magazine size. I mean, it's pretty brutal weapon. And if it was a dinosaur, it would definitely be a Stagosaurus. And I swear to god, I saw a lawyer delivering this to people. He was just delivering justice. This gun's also the perfect response at a bar. Hmm, sir, would you like a lemon with that? No thank you, just ice. And here it is, justice in action. Unlike with major corporations. <laughs> There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Cowell, and this has been my weapon guide for the unique shotgun known as Justice. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way and how you can fully harness the power of Justice with its special staggering effect. If this video did help you out, I think you would be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely, or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. If you're a fan of Justice League, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, the link can also be found in the description. And as always, with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here with me, and I will see you very shortly in the next video, I'll see you there in a second.